again from my study here at West Craigville Drive. Welcome to our midweek meditation on this the 16th of November. Last Sunday, November the 13th, was the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost. Next Sunday is Reign of Christ Sunday, and Advent begins November 27th. I again return to the Daily Prayer 2022 book for our meditation. Now we continue seeing news clips of our Ukrainian brothers and sisters as the war with Russia continues. Even now I've seen that Russia may have even sent missiles into Poland. Indeed, let us keep all of those involved in our intercessory prayers. Our meditation, reflection, and prayer today begins and ends with the phrase, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Our psalm is Psalm 62. The scripture that forms the basis of the meditation is found in Revelation chapter 4, verses 1, 2b, 3a, 4, 6b, and 9 through 11. We will then continue along with some prayers of intercession, the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer, and the sentence, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. And now, reading from Psalm 62. In God alone is my soul at rest. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. I shall not greatly falter. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. Never shall I falter. In God is my salvation and glory, my rock of strength. In God is my refuge. Trust him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. And now reading from Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Surrounding the throne I saw twenty-four other thrones on which twenty-four elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. In the center and around the throne there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever they throw down their crowns before the throne exclaiming worthy are you lord our god to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things because all your will they came to be and were created and now our reflection we could ask, indeed, what causes us to praise God? How often are we astounded by God's glory, honor, and power? When we look at creation, we can see the face of God. And as we confront the changing climate, forest fires, natural disasters, systemic racism, and other acts of violence, it can be hard to discern God's presence. Within the destruction, it can be hard to see all of creation, but even here, there is the potential to see God's work, those working to restore and protect the earth, the return of animals and foliage to, da to damaged lands, people assisting in the midst of tragedy, care workers stepping up to offer expertise and healing, and advocates who promote human dignity God is indeed worthy to be praised. And that brings us to the prayers of the people and intercessory prayers, starting with faith in the risen Christ, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That God's creation be restored to health, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
that leaders care for those ravaged by disaster and violence, they pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Ukrainian brothers and sisters, as the war with Russia continues now into its eighth month, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who aid the sick, poor, suffering, and displaced, be strengthened in service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, with longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So then, let us close with these words. Creator God, you surround us with your great artistry. Give us the wisdom needed to appreciate what you have given to us. Help us to preserve it in all that we do and all that we say. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. In the final, in the final sentence, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Now, that concludes this week's meditation. We will return to our Bible study this week on Zoom this afternoon at 4 p.m. We are now coming to the end of Luke's Gospel, and I would have you note the change from our usual 7 p.m. to the afternoon. We will soon decide what the next Bible study will be after we conclude Luke's Gospel. Sunday worship concludes at 8.15 a.m. with fellowship after the service. Please join us this Sunday for worship, live music in the sanctuary at 8.15, and fellowship after the service. Worship then will continue streaming live on Facebook. If you don't happen to be a Facebook user, that's just fine, because the service will also be available on the Parma Grace UCC YouTube channel later on on Sunday afternoon. Have a wonderful day today. See you again next week.